Hello guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this is for the rather brilliant Guard Duty, a game developed by Sick Chicken Studios and published by the ever brilliantly popular Rattle Like a Games, and is available to you from today for just £7.99. Now this is a lovely point and click adventure game with some comedy on the side, which is always great, and has some top easter eggs in it as well as we will see a little bit later on. Now, achievements wise, 19 out of the 20 are basically story related, but there is only one missable achievement, which again is simple enough, and I will point it out. Now, I will smash through all of the dialogue so we're not sort of hanging around, and I've tried to sort of go uh, sort of slow but still fast so you can hopefully just keep up with what I do quite easily. So, then, with that being said, let us begin. Initiation sequence initiated. Time until human extinction in seconds. What this world? Did you go to hell? You know, Nine. this. <laughs> Turn it off. And I also hope Wrinklewood was a purposely done name in relation to a man's wrinkly genital area. You know, wood meaning man's penis and wrinkled. <laughs> you know, that's a good joke. And that's a great start. So a few button prompts then, obviously as you can tell it's the A button or the X button on the PlayStation to skip through dialogue. And here we are then in our little bedroom tent looking area and basically you'll have your inventory in the top right hand corner. If you want to use something you press uh, A button or if you want to just inspect it you press the right bumper or I suppose it would be the R1 button on the PlayStation. So first of all then, inspect your wardrobe. There's nothing in it, you've got your little butt crack out, there's nothing there. And then go ahead and pick up a dart from the left hand side, and then a rope which is just to the right of you. I'll just take one. It sounds like he's going to do something stupid, but uh, no, it's just for escaping. So examine the rusty hatch on the left. Obviously, we can't get down, and that's the weirdest bit of chest pubic hair uh, I've ever seen. But, you know, you can't have everything, can you? You've got more hair than i got, anyway. So there's the inventory, then, in the uh, right-hand corner, as we've been seeing. And then, basically, just um, press A to use the rope and use it with the broken window. So again, it's all, like, you know, it's it's your sort of typical point-and-click adventure, but it does have a great story on it, and it is bloody hilarious too. Our guy coming out looking like Rocky Dennis right here. <laughs> So, yeah, sort of nailed it. That was a hell of a hell of a fall. Uh, interact with the bird on the right. He'll only stay on the wall. He's not going to fly away. Um, he basically takes another piece of your clothing, which you need. 
There's no point keeping interacting with him here. I just thought, I don't know, I thought he'd get shot or something, but apparently that doesn't happen in the game. So once that's through, go to your left through the castle door then. And then just simply approach the guards on your left for a bit more dialogue. Now there are certain points in the game where the characters talk quite a lot, so, you know, e either look at it or just um, smash through it. You know, I can't stop you. You haven't got a gun to your head. I hope. Never heard of it, Dusty. Please escort me. He's making. Say this, your team. Sorry. So we get thrown out, but within doing that, we get our first achievement of the game. And as you can see on the right hand side, just by the flowers in the tree, that is where our first boot is. So get your Rocky Dennis face and your weird pubic chest hair over there and go and pick it up. So this is the sort of mini-map that we use to get around. Now what we'll be needing to do is go to the gate where we first seen our hero, our very very drunk hero. So whatever you click, you'll basically end up at the gate anyway. Um, but the only gripe that I've got with the game is the fact that it doesn't actually label sort of what it is. It tells you to go to the marketplace, tells you to go to the field, but you sort of got to guess anyway. So but that's probably the only negative honestly of this game, otherwise it's still a pretty fantastic game. So smashing through all of the dialogue here with this dude. Might even have some Look, do you need me to write? I can see smoke. Give me something to write. That's the ticket. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant. And now we can go back out and actually go to the marketplace this time where you got lucky with a certain uh, ugly old hag. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. You know what I'm saying? Well, how do you get a boner from that is what I want to bloody know. But anyway, Gertrude here has our trousers, and we need it. So we've got a, f a few things to do, but first things first, go and get the boot just by the fountain, and this is where the first and only missable achievement is. You see uh, Ezio Abitori da Firenze looking a bit messed up there. He's not having a good time. He's ended up in the wrong game. So what you need to do then, we've got a gold coin on us. Go up to your inventory, press A to use the gold coin, use it with the assassin, and that will give us our one and only, like I said, missable achievement. I don't, I, I don't know why assassins need it. Surely you can just stand up, but there we go. Go and get another one from the fountain there so you can get another penny, and then take it to the fruit stand, which is, well, it says just to the right of you there, the, the fruit IV stall. Use the gold coin on it. That's the look at. Well, hello there, little. You know, we can't say. Oh, ain't that cute, the lad? I think he's got some. Oh, right, you think? Nah. Right, you is. Sorry about that. Can't understand the word. He just give him a barge. What are the fur? What do I look like? A blood. Poor lad could do. <laughs> Tells you what, lad. Because I'm an up and I pride myself on providing equality. I'll cut you a brick. You can have just one of these fights, but choose wisely. For while the right fruit will bring you good. You have to wisely. There you go. So once that's bought, then we need to inspect it now. So you don't press A. This time you're pressing the RB button. And that will sort of separate the fruit from the net. Or I believe it should be the R1 button, I assume, on the PlayStation. Whatever the, the RB is, anyway. <laughs> on the PlayStation controller. So go to the right, past the assassin. We're back at the minimap now. And we're going to the field. We're going to be catching a frog so Gertrude can get her <laughs> rocks off to it. The dirty old cow. Uh, anyway... Uh, in your inventory then, go ahead, grab your net, and then put it down to the mini bridge just to the right side on the map there. Um, the, the frog will go, but that'll be fine because we need to... As soon as you put the net down, we can just nip off to the right and re-enter the scene, and the frog will be there once again. And then we'll give him a little catch.
So as you probably guessed, we're off back to the marketplace now and we can finally get our bloody <laughs> trousers back. So use the toad on Gertrude. She is going to get wet from it. <laughs> Wink. You get it? You get it? One last kiss. Oof. Apparently he turns into a real fit prince as well. So although he looks, although he looks kind of dead. So I, I'm not too sure. I, <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was a good little uh, that was a good little cut scene then scene has been removed for our safety thank you sick chicken studios much appreciated so get your trousers then now we could go now we've got all our loose change go to your inventory use the loose change with the uh, arrow button on the right to get to the next page and we can finally get our face to stop looking all rocky Dennis-ish. So after some Medusa route, I see Concoscia, that stuff ain't ten gold <laughs> Pleasure doing so again, get into your inventory and go and use the Medusa route on yourself. Wow, I feel for a moment there. I thought maybe focus. Hmm. I accidentally click on the garden. You don't have to speak to this garden here. I accidentally just click on the dude. So uh, if you accidentally do that, just say, no, up your guts, I'll be seeing you. We literally never have to talk, ever. So now we can just exit uh, this part. Now we, now we can finally head up to the gate where we started the game when we were all drunk a little bit earlier on, just to the right of the castle. And we wow. can talk to Beric. Now, I can't believe I did. How'd you mess up? Ugh, I've had the work. Need somebody's here. To I'm here all day. Well, after what seemed like a fairly successful. Wise. This led deep into the night until. Do Unfortunately, it became. Oh, wow. You're telling me. On the plus side, though. In fact, I got. Have a look in the chat. He's hidden in the. Once the conversation's over, then look be low the welcome to Wrinklewood population sign at the usual place which is where you get your key and then use it to open up the amenity chest which is on the left hand side Aha, so that's where it was kept it safe for so we've only got two things left to do for the prologue. Go back to the field where we caught the frog, which is on the left-hand side of the map. Go into your inventory and click anything. I just click the trousers. Um, use them on yourself and he will get dressed, giving us another achievement. And then just nip on to the castle and go past the guards. And that is the prologue done. Did I just don't appreciate that time? But you had me kicked out in the blooming. No, no. Yeah, you weren't. Didn't make no. And yet, normally. A lot of dwarf. Yeah. Normally I have beards though. He's blades. You look just. Uh... No, 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 no. I'm really sorry. It's, it's been a run. <laughs> I'm really sorry, guy. What you want? I'm not sorry. Certainly not. No, no. Cheers, were just on. I like that, Dusty. <laughs> yeah. Give it. My apologies, sir. Yes, yes. Would you happen to know where my... No, my lord. Not see... Crafty little with us. Oh, what's that you... Here you go, my lord. Ble right at the hour. Ready. Okay. Fools. Uh... Time. 
Thunderbolt! Stop! Action! There once was a man. He guarded the kingdom whilst most laid their head. To count a no. I guess that's my singing. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Who is. I'm here. But I'm. Then I would. No! Anything but my music. What was that? Oh, look. I told you not to buy the cheap ones. Oh, my. Bloody idiot. The. Definitely something bad go. Do you guys not hear? Suffer. Haha, <laughs> Christ. Anyway. Right? Okay, yeah. Sire, I demand you. No, not gonna. You can stand there all day. Ain't nothing stop. Sandra. Why'd you do that? <laughs> What's the matter? King not. I can't believe. Hey. So yeah, are you just made sense? Oh, please tell me some. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. We got the night for a wrinkle words most But they're old and... Hey, it's not mo- Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that- <laughs> Meanwhile, I- Yeah. Poor Pharaoh, the knights of Wrinklewood and they're veteran. There must be something like not ready to just sit by- Not again. Damn it, Tombert! Ugh, that's not important now! The note said that the princess vanishes small. The scene took a bit there. This is my one ch- I can't co- <laughs> Oh boy, that was a long old scene. But we get an achievement for it as well, so... You know, all's well that ends well. So this is Bertwick right here. So you can't actually leave until you speak to him anyway, so... So if I could actually go ahead and do that, that'd be fantastic. Uh, just go ahead and pick the top option. And then you can say catch you later. So tell me everything you need to know about the kidnapping, and then catch you later. Well, all I know is what Hendrix. Tell me what he told you. Just there was this big flash, then the cinegraph thing. Before they knew it, there's this big. It wasn't until they stopped. So it was definitely seems so. If you he was there when all this. Thanks. Well, I'll tell you what the armor reminds me of. Actually, anybody ever remember watching the Monty Python, the Holy Grail? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so go to the marketplace, speak to Hendrick who is cowering just in the corner there. This is another bit of long dialogue scene. But yes, the armor is definitely Holy Grail Monty Python-esque and I love it. No, oh, come on, we've all had too many drinks. You're there, crying on the bathroom floor. It's not like that. The whole kingdom was on. That's silly, the castle's made of... What about Theremin? Did you see who... Well, I came to. She was... The other guys didn't see... So no one saw any... The princess just disappeared. Gone. But that would... If you ask me, I'd say it was an inside job. Someone's... <laughs> well, if that... Exactly. That's why we locked smart. You've got a... One. Right. So what you're saying... I'm... Uh, uh, sure. Looks... Look. I'll let you know I've had a... Not half as bad as Theremin. Well, you've been incredibly... Wait! Yes? The boys did spot some dodgy but no way he funny though. I've I've some business Well, that's something I guess. Cheers! Don't let your car down. So leave the fat bearded one, just uh I don't know, have a little cry. Now we're going to go back to the gate where we can try to leave, but we can't. We'll still have a little bit left to do. Basically we need what's called Wildlands DLC. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but if you type in Wildlands DLC in uh, onto Google, you'll see why this is a pretty hilarious Easter egg, in my opinion. contract for you, wordy type, which is more than likely. Heh, I don't care about it. So long as Theremin's out there, I'll stop. Well, you stopped right here. Go speak to the clerk. Right, then you'll let me. It's not like I can stop. Look, I should. Can't let you out. Please. Go to. Fine. 
So now we'll head back into the castle yet again. Now we're going to speak to the clerk. All we need to ask him about is what the hell is Wildlands DLC? <laughs> and of course he will explain, but it's not what we are thinking. Gareth says I need some DLC. What's that all about then? Well, you see it on bed. With all these disappearances, if you die out there, you accept it by signing the contract, the crown, for any per- You'll get into any trouble. Sorry, lad. Sim- I'll be damned if I'm leaving. Give me the feathery writing thing. Oh, uh, right. Well, in that case- I did. Sure. Need to know you're not sa- Drat. That was very informative. So now we know what it is, we need to get said DLC. So- what we're going to be doing then, head to back to the marketplace first and we'll be going into the uh, Drunken Monk and we'll be speaking to, well, a very rather hooded mage as you can see, he's right at the bar there, you've got back crack, you've got big tits and you've got the only mage in the place, so go ahead and talk to him. Now there's six questions that we need to be asking, uh, not in any particular order, this is just to really get through the game. So the first one then is what brings you to Wrinklewood? Before Crimson the Fog? Seems he's talking in tongue. How many is he at? Uh your guess is the man was blind drunk when the cogs? Uh pretty cog. Sir, you uh the dog mm. Don't see much of your type round here. What bring Oh, so you want one of my quest through the eye Cheer up, mate. Positive thinking's a pa- even when life- Exhibit A! I just lost the love of my We have made our bed? Waiting. We can't run. I made my- In sobriety. Right. This calls for- Hey, Barkeep. You got any of that, you know, the one that's so- Right before sending you a- That's the one. For the second question, choose a thousand follow. A thousand follow? What's that mean, then? And then another- Damn it. This conversation's normally the other way. We really need four here. Barkeep. Coffee. Black. Down the hatch, mate. Then choose Talk yeah. to Me, which, by the way, I find it hilarious that he sobers up after one pot, well, one shot no of dried, black rancid black coffee piss. Tell you what you need to know, but you won't like it. For the next one, choose A Thousand Follow again. What do you mean? A Thousand Follow? I tried to stop. I... I could have stopped it. God. Next up, choose stopped who? Stopped who? He was my big ambition. Let me guess. This is known tis the d known only to those. Sure sounds like a handful. That boy will be the death of. And lastly, so what did your apprentice do exactly? So what did your apprentice do? <laughs> and I love that the main villain in this game is just an apprentice. That's just, again, one of the many, many hilarious, tiny little details that honestly make this a really great, funny game. He was waiting for the perfect. And this is where you kept the fancy. Right. The book was adorned. I believe this. Did you see him after this? Oh, yes. The lad was brief. I was sure. He skipped between. Never staying more. He must have visited. And then he found. That's us. I followed him here. Like There's no wonder he chose. Hold up. So you say your apprentice is kidnapped. Keep it down. I just want to sit here. I don't need half. No. Feck. It's no use. Done what? A sacrifice of r I have seen the few it all. Hold up. Sa Nothing can be done. Time stop. Look, you might have made up your mind, but some of us don't give up. You've read the book, right? You got the road to immortality. Time to cut the ominous riddle me diddle apath. Where exact? Ugh. On your. What's this? It'll tell you all. Let me keep. This is some serious stuff. I stole it from his packs. Alas, maybe you'll. Yep. No, don't go running off any- I have no- Er, uh, hey. It's Drareth. Well, Drareth, you- The princess will be back by nightfall. I wish- The Dark Arts, a beginner's guide to the path of sin. Hmm, I need to find out what these symbols mean. I should probably examine this- So go into your inventory then, and inspect the Wait creepy book by pressing again the this right bumper or the RB button. Like I've seen it a hundred times before. Now, I might be wrong, but this map, only one way to- 
Right, before you exit this bar, there's a lost and found box just to the left of the bar there, which you need uh, to get your key so we can go back to your apartment. So I accidentally uh, clicked the exit button, and if you do that, just go back in and you'll find the lost and found box just there. Let's see what's in here. There's a used hanky. I think this is the, well, it's worth a- Yeah, sure, just take bloody guards. <laughs> And now we can finally bloody exit this place to leave the mage with his strong beer and strong piss coffee. So now we are going back to the castle, We're going back up to our bedroom now. And if you go just past these guards right here, there is a door that says staff only. That is where our bedroom is. Well, you go through that door and then up through a ladder. I mean, you can't really go to dungeon access because that'll be, well, that'll be unlucky for, a, for someone to be living in. Now we uh, get out the creepy book and then use it with the broken window to see that you've seen this map somewhere the before. There are mountains, and that's the lake. I knew I'd seen them somewhere. If I had any idea what this all meant. Hmm. Hold on a minute. Something just fell out. It's a library. What are the chance? I need to find out what these. Maybe there is a way to get this trap. Hmm. This is definitely maybe there. And as with any point-and-click adventure games, you know, there'll be a lot of times where you accidentally keep clicking it. While you smash the dialogue, you'll accidentally keep clicking the same bloody thing over and over again. Uh, so now we can exit out of here. Now we need to go to the castle library. So it's to the left of where we are, and it is the right stairs, right by the guard on the right-hand side there. Let's go into the library. And then what you need to do is show the bookkeep your library card, use the library card on her, and then use the creepy book on her afterwards. Thank you, uh, Gwyneth. Oh, uh, yeah, that... Okay. If you have any questions, you'll find we have... Thanks. It's this creepy. I think it might be holding the seats. Just. Mm, well, we do happen to have quite a. You can find your collection. Thanks. So now we can finally move on to the left, and you see the ladder just in the background there. We need to click on that twice, once to move it, and then once to go up, getting us a dark arts book, unlocking us an achievement, and then the study door in the background. That is what we'll be going through next. The dark arts book one. To now, to translate. So from what I gather, the Shoggoroth was buried here. Looks like Faramir's kidnapper. You offers the royal blood. This is Sir. I need to get to the northern region before he... Don't touch anything. I am conducting... Any tampering or tomfoolery will be- Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I am rude. So this guy's a bit of a knob, but we'll get rid of him quickly enough. So start a conversation with him then, advisor Pembleton. Sounds like a douche already. Uh, first of all, click King Barrington himself. Barrington himself. And then for the second option, click in the throne room. And then for the third option, because they'll cut your head off if you don't, which is the second bottom option. Picking any other option, I don't believe will work. Well, I wouldn't want to leave the king, mate. Just keep keep an eye on the my pleasure. So now we've got rid of this guy. Then click on the film strip on the right-hand side handy. first of all, and then click on the shelf or to the left of the door to tip that over, so we can't get back in. The door. That's what you get for being a douche and having a douchey name. Um, but click on the camera next. Uh, examine the button, which is on the right side of the camera. 
and then what we'll need to do is go into your inventory, get the blank film reel and then use it with the camera. Looks like I can load the blank. Pull the lever, click the switch right next to it and then this will Looks take like a photo, the but then we've got to develop it ourselves. Ugh. How did people ever do this back in the day? Click the foot switch and say cheese. Well, that was brief. Hopefully it snapped a good photo. Hmm. Well, it did the film's changed colour, but the frame maybe there's more to this than so there's three things that we've got to do now. So go into your inventory, get the picture of yourself out. And first of all, we need to put that in the developing solution, which is what you're standing on right now. So it's just at the bottom the, on the uh, where the foot switch is. So once you do that, then go back into your inventory, get the uh, obviously the same picture out, and then use it on the fixer fluid, which is just above uh, the developing solution there and then finally again get your picture out from the inventory and then use it on the sink I'll just give it a it's perfect looks just like me too it's amazing what you can do these days this should do the trick I'll just stick this to the library card the old fashioned Nice! My very own. So hopefully it's enough to trick the club. Time to test his people. Got no use for it at the moment. My hands are... So there we go then. That's another achievement unlocked. And we are basically done with this first act. There's only two left to go now. Uh, so what we'll need to do, go into the castle here. And then talk to the clerk. Basically give him your fake ID and he will give you the Wildlands DLC. And then simply go to the gate. Leave the kingdom. And... Well, the adventure really begins, just as it sort of ends, ish. Wait a minute, this is... Uh, it's a really kept will, just sign here. Is that all? Yep. You are now free to rule. Well, I guess I'd a uh, better get princess to say... That you should, lad. Huh? It's time to save the princess. Oh, shut up. Well, on you just try to come back in one pit. I'll be back in no time. As a poor, I'm not gonna break the ice. Maybe we, I'm not gonna break. Maybe we can, uh. So we've come across this frozen dude. Obviously, there's nothing we can do in our Monty Python Holy Grail get up just yet. So now, this is the sort of second mini map of the game, and this is where we're going first. On the right hand side is the sort of gap tours. Um, very, you know, hard to, um, you know, hard to miss that one. So talk to this guy, he'll basically try to fling you across, but you'll get an achievement for failing to make it, even though you see us flying across there anyway. He's back, the one who broke my cap out. Hey, I'm lucky to be alive. Do you have any idea what lurk? Not to mention the climb. Besides, that thing was sabotaged. Yeah, by the same guy. The lurk. Look, what it cost to get. Oh, I wouldn't know about that. That's the bo boss. You. Of course. Why? You think I said I'm just here for the weekends? Say right. Well, we need to get. If I'm right, the princess is to be. Ain't got long now. Perth missus will have supper on the table. Curry night tonight. Camp. Ugh, look, I'm gonna find a way. If anyone comes by, just. Got ya. 
typical. Absolutely fuming, mate. Took you several hours to get flung across into a ditch, and that's several hours of nothingness wasted. Uh, but you got an achievement out of it, so that's all good. So, bottom right-hand corner, go into the forest, and what we'll be doing is just continuing left, and then we'll see a little elf fisherman type ting. So we'll just need to talk to the fisherman type elf ting. Hi there, I don't suppose you've seen a princess around these parts? She's about- Stop blabbering, you're scaring the few from the castle. Tom Burr of Wrinklewood, nice to meet you. Elga, and I wish I could- You say you're looking for a- Sure am. A nah. Oh, well- Saw a cart frozen- Hmm, might be a clue. I also saw one of your nut- Ain't seen him come- Into the- Aye. Thanks, Helga. If you see anything out of the order- Oh, sure, I just shout- Well, you wouldn't want to- I'll pop back if I get stuck. You're a weird one, Tom. And if you think something bad is going to happen in this forest, well, you are wrong, because nothing does. This is actually quite a nice little stroll, so all we are doing is just continuing left, continuing all the way left, until we find an obvious looking cave. You can... That's not touch Again, you can click on things, the squirrel and flowers and stuff, but all he says is everything's dangerous, because, you know, he's a bit of a... Bit of a fanny first. They all are when they start off in the adventures, aren't they? And then they're just massive roid heads by the end of it. Sort of Captain America type shit, you know? Are you kidding? This place until I know I'd mean a machete to cut. So from here then, enter the cave, there's obviously nowhere else to go, and you'll see this monster dude on the left, and an interior decorator on the right, which I bet you weren't expecting at all, because I wasn't. Uh, basically, she's waiting for the frozen dude with her red paint, um, but obviously we need to do a few things, and we'll start by taking the ladder. So when this dialogue's over, remember to take the ladder. Very trustworthy people in this game. If you've just seen a random stranger and he wants your ladder, and he, he'll say you'll bring it back. That's called theft and sold for drugs money in the real world, though. Look, I'm gonna need. You promise? You of course, the ladder's right. Well, just give it a twist as you lift it. This should help. So now you've got a random ladder, which you apparently might need, because there's nothing that indicates that we need this ladder so far, but <laughs> there we go then. Um, basically what we're doing is just going all the way to the right and back to the mini-map. So again, enjoy your stroll. So now we're back on the minimap, go to where the wrinkle worm is, which, I'm not being funny, that looks like a wrinkly penis. Um, <laughs> interact with the rope. Basically, our heroics will all be for nothing because we accidentally almost sent him to his doom. I don't, you all right? But he is still alive, so just walk to the right just a little bit. And then what you need to do is go into your inventory, grab the ladder, and then get out the uh, get the night out. Although I don't know why the wrinkle worm can't just you know go to the right a little bit more. But hey, now this is sort of a mini game where it tells you to uh, press the use button a lot, but it basically happens anyway where the night slips and falls to his again quite potential doom. Feels heavy.
So we've got no idea what's going on. Are we dead? Are we alive? <laughs> Who knows? But anyway, what we will be doing for now is entering the forest. And we're going all the way back to the left, back to the cave. So enjoy your sort of deadly ghost stroll. If, you know, if you want. It's not as peaceful as it was earlier. And you're expecting some dank enemies to come out. But again, that doesn't happen. It's just a nice ghost deadly stroll, yeah. okay? Left sorrow. These wounds for all. So there it is. Then the caves all burnt out. Hopefully, Lauren, the interior decorator, wasn't in it because you know how all these love stories go. A brave knight sort of guesses, um, guesses balls. <laughs> All massive and hard. He starts getting harder, and then the interior decorator comes in, and they all fall in love, etc., etc. Um, actually, I've never seen anything like that, but it could have been a first. Anyway, go all the way back to the mini map now. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, where you'll realise I lose my head a lot. Um, back <laughs> to the mini map, and then basically what we'll be doing is visiting just the other two uh, places, where you'll see they're all burnt out and stuff. Anyway. Life is... is this what... There's nothing left, there's nothing, there's nothing left, just... Scorched. What has become these lands? But luckily for us, it was all just a dream, and we're just inside the wrinkle penises. Well, looks like a ball sack in the back, don't it? No, we're inside the wrinkle worm, so what you need to do is get out the dart. You see the festering saw, which is on the left-hand side. So get your dart out, stick that on the festering saw, and we are good to go. And where we come out then is like this sort of puzzle area. So just follow the way I do to get to the very top. This is where we'll be going first, to the very top. So go left and then up. And then to the left again. So basically, if you keep trying to keep going up, keep going up, keep going up, it'll just send you right back down to the bottom of the map. As you see, there's clear boxes and there's boxes that have like, well, there's spider webs, there's spider webs in them. And we need to, there's a spider at the very top of the map that we need to get rid of. And the way we do that is through these spider webs. So just keep going where I've gone then. Hopefully, I haven't talk too much bull crap over that and now we are at the top so go through there the spider will come down and you'll think you can shove that up your ass because i ain't rescuing you except we've got to so we need to follow this direct path if you follow any other path the spider loses interest and we've got to go all the way back up to the top so go to the left and then click on the sticky web icky sticky vicky web which will make the spider come down then let's go to the right, where there is no, obviously, spider web. But as long as you still get that bit of dialogue at the top there, you hear the faint sound or you hear movement, etc., you're still good to go. So go down and interact with this web right here. This is where the spider will come out. And then just go to the left twice. So, again, this confused me first because it, it doesn't look like you can go left twice or anything, but you can. And then interact with this web. And then just go down and then down again. So like I said, if you take any other path, 
and the dialogue goes at the top, you'll have to go all the way back up to the top and follow this exact path again. So this is the right way to do that. So again, interact with the web, make sure the spider comes down, go to the left, and then go down to where the last spider web is, interact with that, go to the left, and that kills the spider from the wrinkle worm and gives us another achievement. And then what we can do is just go all the way back up to where the night was. Job done. We are hero number one. We are beautiful. And of course, don't forget to pick up the venom gland, the big green looking thing right there. So just click on the knight and that is how we'll rescue him. As soon as he nips off then you just grab the ladder and then go to exit this area, go all the way down to the south where you killed the big spider and just keep going down, down, down until you are out. Hey, don't mention it. Just doing my duty. You know, my uh... Yes, yes. I don't suppose you've seen... No luck since I... These are... That's all right. Charles was... Yeah. Well, truly... Just go careful. God's... Should probably grab. Time to get out. Ah, thank God for that. So we end up back in peaceful forest land, which is just great for us. So go to the left, go up now towards the cave so you can give Lauren, the interior decorator, her ladder back. Huh? The knight and the interior decorator? Are you in love, man? No, no, no. It doesn't work like that, does it? Yeah, inventory then. Use the ladder on Lauren. Job done. But before you leave, you see the little bubbling pot of stew. Make sure to grab a cup before you leave so we can thaw out, well, thaw out the frozen guy's supplies, not the actual frozen guy himself. You got a minute to check? Yeah? Cool. Well, don't mention... This stew smells... Help yourself! Thanks! If I need a time... So then, as long as you remember to get the cup of boiling, it must be boiling your tits off, click on the frozen little bit on the minimap there, as long as you've got the boiling bit of hot stew, just interact with it with this guy right here, and then click on supplies and you'll just grab them all anyway.
This should do the trick. Awesome. The ice has melted. I'm not gonna break. Maybe we. I'm not gonna break. Maybe we. I'm not gonna break. Maybe I'm not gonna break. Maybe we can. Uh, wait. There were tools and. Hey. It's fine. I'll return the tools and deliver. What about you? Just look. The, you'll be out. Of no. Don't worry. I'll no, you. So you're nothing but a common thief, but hey, nobody else needs to know that, do they? <laughs> And for the final time, we'll be going all the way back to the cave, giving Lauren the red paint, and she'll basically finish. You don't have anything else left to do in return. And then what we can do is finally go and repair the catapult, the failed catapult that we did earlier on. And then we can finally get to the next part. That's not time. This is yours. Well, fancy that. Wonderful. However, honestly, I was. Well, if ever you. Thanks. Where'd you find? Frozen in the car. Just. What about the delivery? Yeah, he'll just needs a little while. Right. Well, I'll have this. Thanks again. See ya. She really did a great. A very talent. I'll say. Well, it's been a right back at. Best of luck. I have a good idea. I'm headed. Blimey, here's. I think I'll be. All. Anyway. I'll... Good luck. Thanks. Mind if I take this? No, oh, help yourself. that Monster was offering us anything we wanted and we chose to reject it. What a noble man. So <laughs> go back to the gap tours then. Go into your inventory, click the spanner and then use it on the catapult to get it to work. That should do the trick. Hey, you want to test it out? Well, this paint can will make a fine helmet. Ready? I mean, couldn't anybody just build a bridge or anything? It'd make it a lot bloody easier, wouldn't it? But, uh, well, this dead adventurer guy, a bit unlucky there. But click on him and basically you'll get his, his compass. Uh, you can, we'll need it because we're going through the mountains now. Um, so you can interact with it, have a look at it and sort of, you know, see what, see what you can do. Because basically we'll be going northwest through the mountains, but, you know, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing for every game, so you shouldn't really get lost. Uh, so from here, then just click, uh, go up, click north, and we'll be we'll see these snowy mountains. Wow! So as I said. It should be the exact same directions for every single game. So you can have a look at the mountains if you want, but you just got to go down a little bit to actually enter it. So from this point now, what you need to click is up, left, and right. And that's how we find the mountain. So up now. Now we go left. Oh, looks the same. And now at this point we go right, and that should be the same, exactly the same time every time for you guys and gals. 
so you shouldn't really need the campus or you shouldn't really need anything so we are finally here so from this point then we can go to the right ignoring the frozen night etc for now pick up the pack sack which is on the ground and then keep going right until you get to a sort of mini map looking type area Go to the only place you can go, which is the Big Mouth Cave. And we are coming up to the... Well, what we think is going to be the end. So, but it's obviously actually not. So go to the left and you'll see this goat here. Go into your inventory, get out the cereal oats and use it with the goat. And what he'll do now is follow you. So, from this point, he's a <laughs> ugly looking thing. Cute little bastard. Uh, but from this point then, you can go him. back towards the Frozen Knight. So exit out of here, go to the left, go to the Frozen Knight. You feeling strong, little guy? Pow! Nice work. I honestly don't know why he had to get a goat to do that. It's lucky the goat was there. He literally could have just pushed him over. Literally, but... Hey, who am I to judge? I've never been in that situation. And pray that I'd never have to be in that situation. So just keep clicking on the frozen night then. A little cutscene will happen and you will get to the mountain doors eventually. But what you have to do, you see where the arrow is then? When you actually click on that, it'll say move left. So click on the frozen knight, click on the little arrow, which will say uh, move left. And then you can put it on any pressure pad though. So now with this one, you can click the move up arrow and job is a good one. So once he's on there, you'll need to get the goat on to one of the pressure pads as well. So just get some of the cereal oats onto the pressure pad goat will go on there then you go onto the third pressure pad that opens up the door and then just use the dagger on the princess and that'll be the end of act two hooray we saved the princess mario style except no jumping and no mushrooms and stuff sheesh theremin she can theremin Pheromon, please be brief. It's me. I need a f sharp and pointy, but fuck. I need a f Come on. C <laughs> this blade is. What is this? A butter knife? Come on. Well, don't mind me. <laughs> You're the fuck. Oh, they can't. Hey! Oh, fuck. Don't come any fuck. You're all the same. Oh, clear. I'll have you just. Speaking of which. Can't be taking the normal. Wait, it's that. Oh, do you have any idea? And to fit the first class. Well, time. I still. Just a. I can't hear that. Well. So thank you got. Well. <laughs> I won't tell it. Keep coming.
last one. Found this thing stalking the gates. Seems it was following up these meat bags. So much spirit for such a A pity. Rebel. And now here is my absolute favourite act of the game. I absolutely love this. And mainly for this bit as well. Look at it! It's just it's just solid snake-ish. If you were to be solid snake, ah. Oh. Man, this game is so fun. So full of great Easter eggs. Seriously, top top work at the guys at Sick Chicken Studios who who made this game really top notch. We have it under good authority. Our informant is waiting for you. I'll patch you through to Rugrat for the day. Good luck, Agent. Hey, boss. How's it? Creepy. The general said you Right. So your poor souls get rounded up and strapped in- This is why we- Exactly. You need to listen closely. Each sit- Our informant has pre-assigned to get it wrong and this whole- No pr- Right. You're posing as citizen 0138, uh... What? Well, it's- Fade in. Looks like it could be in. It's You're not exactly. F oh, it'll be fine. The odds are in your. F it's a one in. T Look, we'll get this coffee. Oh, these things always work out. Coffee. Did I say coffee? I meant just. Zero, one, three, eight, and uh. Remember, boss, the system's limited. I'll keep that in mind. Starborn. Approach the AI. State my citizen. I. Here we go. So enter and go to the right where you'll see this big giant robot basically you'll have to put in a sort of citizen code but literally whatever you put in it'll always come out with the same result you'll go into lockdown and <laughs> you'll basically <laughs> you'll basically have to uh, you know avoid stuff so you can literally type in any number i try putting in the right number just to see what would actually happen and as it turns out it all goes to the same hell anyway so you don't actually have to do this bit you can type in whatever you want nine input valid processing abnormality detected huh crap hq come in starborn what's that noise it's uh what? Well, are you? S I, the sentry's optic. Right. We're going to need. Hold on. I'll pack. Well. Any bright. There is a cable behind the. If you find a port, link up the comms device. I'll disable the alert from the inside. You can do. Sure. That's what I'm here for. Right. So I'm looking for some sort. Yeah. Diagnostics port. Got it. I'll take a look. Over. Careful, boss. Yeah. I thought as much. Starborn. Let's see. So the only way we're getting out of here, there is an access panel directly to the left of you and behind you. Uh, just take out all four screws, and then when we get into that, if you click on all the switches and then interact with the port, that will sort us out. That should do it. I've rerouted the... HQ, do you read me? Received. Let me patch you through. Nice one, boss. Should be able to find an empty pack. Got it. Just up. And flashing ROM. Will this take long? And I'm in. Right. Did that do it? Lockdown aborted. That did it. The alarm's been disabled. Great. 
Damn it, the security is autonomous. It's not looks like you're on your own. Call me if you need I'll patch you back through your life. Just doing my job. Sounds like Rugrat was She did good. Affirmative. Well, find a way into the our informant will be Right. First slow and Roger that. Starboard Sentry's got me pinned. I need to wait for the opportunity. Maybe I can call. So then your gun is already locked and loaded, so click on it, then aim to the left where it says outside, and that gets rid of the robot. Now one thing I do like about Starborn, I mean surely that's a Guardian of the Galaxy reference right there, uh, is that unlike Tan Bottom or whoever we were playing as in the first two acts, we don't actually need to interact with the inventory. We can just click on whatever it is we need to progress the game and it will already be done for us, if that makes sense. So I do like that again about this third act. So keep going to the left, click on the elevator access door. Basically that is locked. And now we can just walk to the left after this little bit. I don't see any. Huh? Well, that command. Starborn, we lost you. It's some sort of photon cell. Damn it, Starborn. You're you know me. I've never been one. Any bright. We've got to get you out of the. Hold on a second. Hey, cowboy. Rugrat, I screwed up. They're holding me up. Hey, hold up. Sure, a photon cell, too. No. Uh, alright, alright. <laughs> yeah, <I'm... laughs> So, photon. Sure. You're. I mean, those things will. You got a mirror? Uh, Handsome guy like you. Take Come on, give me something useful. Sorry, boss. But try looking around. Starborn, you need to find a way out of there. We're here if you need. So then, now we are in the prison, what you have to do is click on the shiny robot to the right there. She'll come over, and you don't actually have to say anything here. The purpose of... You can... You can say whatever you want, but you don't have to go through everything. You can just exit it straight away if you want. But basically, what we're trying to do here is find any weak points that we can use to hurt it. And then we can get out of here. So, click on never mind, get out of that, and then call your communications once again. By just interacting with the phone at the top, of course. And then if you say, put me through to Rugrat, that she is going to help us out a lot more. Me through to Rugrat. Patching you in now. Hey, boss. Any idea how to deal with this? What have we got? Bipedal. Sounds like a seven. Can't tell. Whole guy look. Hmm. Try and get a look at his neck. Neck. Sure. Right. Never mind. Never mind. Keep it to Roger that star. <laughs> So next up then, get the shiny robot to come back over, only this time we'll be saying look behind you as the dialogue option for us. And then again what you need to do is just patch yourself back into uh, your communications again and talk to a Ruggle Rattle. You know what? Starborn. Put me for catching you in. Hey, Bob. I took a look at that droid. See, the central port had. F I knew it. Good news. You're in luck, boss. Those things. Huh? That mob. They made look. Really make it think. I'll give it a go. I'll e ask it a question with no answer. Never. Never. Keep it to get Roger the Star. <laughs> So this time then, get the robot over once again, and we'll be asking it a shitload of questions ready for it to explode. Um, so I accidentally clicked on, look up behind you, don't need to say that. You can go through these ones if you want. Um, I just clicked through all the dialogue options just to be safe, but I think when you click on the option that says I have a question, they are the main important ones that you need to go through. So just go through absolutely every single one of these and it will explode you. What's the opposite? What is the airspeed? What does silence? Wait, before you, what is your... 
I'm sorry. Word like a charm. Sorry, bitch. You did. You did as hell. So, uh, <laughs> pick up the weapon, use it on the panel, and that will destroy it. And now we are free as a bird. We'll only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my... I forgot the lyrics. Ah, just screwed that up. Go all the way to the left there. Now we'll be using the elevator. So click on the elevator panel or the elevator control. And where we'll be going is the research labs. Now you actually have to click on it again here. So it doesn't actually take you anywhere. You've got to do it twice. So click on the research labs. That's where we'll go for a little fight cutscene. Oh, actually, sorry. No, it's not the fight cutscene yet. Um, what we do is interact with the door to find out that it's locked. Doors. So we need the droid's arm from downstairs first. The door is... Well, at least I know this floor is clear. So just keep clicking on drag body until it gets it over to the elevator and it'll automatically chop off its arm very brutally. And then when we have that, you can go back up to the research lab Use the arm on the door, and then the fight cutscene happens. Hmm. Let's see if. Gotcha. So nicely done there brother, you smashed him up well and good. Click on the terminal that is right in front of you and then click on release cell.dx. So all you need to click on for the moment and then click return. Just to log out. From this point then, go to the right and you can see the exposed wires just next to the terminal. Click on them and that will allow us to pick up the green cell no, with no problem. Like, I think I can leave the arm here for now. The release mechanism is open. I'll take this. So you go back to the left and you'll see the red cell. So click on the red cell and what he'll do then is just swap them out. Uh, now what you think we can do is go onto the belt and we're all good. But what we actually need to do is click on the terminal again. Oh, obviously put the green charge cell in first, obviously, because he ain't going nowhere then. Then click on the terminal and what you have to do is click on tank one, which is up the very top, and then just assign dot DX. So if you don't do this, you won't actually be able to go on the belt and go anywhere. The lever won't work. So click on the belt. He'll automatically pull the lever and that's it. Job done. We're out. So like I said, if you didn't do that, you actually won't go anywhere. Uh, from this point, there's an easy to miss valve just to the left on the bottom left of your head. Click on that a couple of times and then you will be escaping. 
You're late. Uh, I almost died. What's with this goo? That's a precise mixture of per Is it? No idea. Come. We need to get that- Wait. Jeez. Is that him? He's hideous. Are you even- Stop gobbing and- Wait. Two sec. Starboard reporting. Agent, we lost you there for a moment. I was a little pre- Something's according to this. What? I, uh, I was lucky to get out of luck. That wouldn't have caused Rugrats trying to find a back- Just don't. What was- Whoa. Don't touch it, please. It's- Yes, not that there is- I've- A thing. Where you know- the Even Alex- I, uh- Come, walk over to- the one is quite. I put a little extra, but that does not mean we have. Go on. I'm from this point, just to the left of the monster here is the console, so you'll have to interact with that once. A little bit of dialogue will play out, and then you'll have to interact with it again. Three, two, one. Did it work? Hold on a minute. Oh. The crystal won't now. Could that be? There's something you're not. Hold on. Let me call it. We really don't. General, how's it looking? Agent, we can't more him. What are you? Let me. This. Have faith, agent. Boss, there's no way in. The crystal's causing too much. You mean our. I can't get a lot. Damn it. You're not gonna leave me. We'll get you out. Are you with the. He's right here. The release. That's no surprise. With this much power, really isn't. Stop. Okay, we need. Is that it? How do you think? Well, that. Sure. I mean, it should, but the interference will fit. What the? Rugrat. HQ. Damn it. Are you done? We've got a bit of. Right. Away from the crypt. Let me guess. That what? She's got spirit. Hmm. It. If we divert the power, this without the crystal, the. Meaning we can get there. Right. Your friend should. Well. Oh, now you want. All right. Right. I'll need you to press. Once again, three, two, one. On, just this isn't like one of those sci-fi sit. The quantum decompiler is at 60%. Well, just wish I brought. When was the last time you? <laughs> Look, just take your time. Hold on. I... There's a noise coming. How's he doing? He was lucky, that's for sure. He broke both legs in the fall. Ouch. I know, right? You live. He's going to feel. Anyway, we fixed all the important. How long until he's. Well, now that the nano sill. <sighs> You'll notify me as. Right, you are, Jen. Damn it. What? Oh, this is 
must have gotten me out. How long? So I don't think I really need to explain need to what happened there. You got the crystal, but god damn man, you got fudged up. But you managed to escape with the teleporting system, so happy days. So click on the Medi gun um, station there, which is There's the big box in right in front of you, and you'll automatically pick up four colored capsules. Go out into the bridge and then pick, uh, click the navigation HUD, which is again the uh, very hard to miss large screen. Control station, hold oh, down it. This is bad. Control, unlock bridge. Elevate. She shut down. That makes no how long. Agent Starboy, Reco sixty-four hours. Sixty. Please note, it is recommended that Sunny to hell with what happened while accessing the at two free task with. It was jury. Yeah, yeah, I was conscious for that. Agents, a success, little. Tell me what happened. I am afraid my last record. Surely, I this is bad. Control. We're gonna need to recover the pot. As I said, I have preliminary skill. I'm sorry. It to hell with. They didn't win. We're. There must be something. I need to find a. Now we can proceed to the right, where we'll be finding. I mean, our bridge is basically bollocks anyway, but. Uh... So there's a valve directly where you're standing, so go ahead and turn that twice. And then what we need to do is interact with the door to put our capsules on there. And then turn the valve again, and that'll blow it up, revealing the damage. And our captain is all, you know, screwed as well. Perfect. Now to turn up the heat. I sure hope... General. Hang in there, Bob, I promise. Damn it. Feed. Control. My knowledge of common men, however, my knowledge of this station is highly ex- You will find new- Roger. Oh, sorry, General, I meant, obviously, not Captain. <laughs> Uh, go back into the medigun station, you'll top up these. Now what you need to do, click on the meditech station, and first of all you enter the red and the blue capsules first. Very important, well, the other ones just won't work at the minute. So it's the red and the blue, and if you're colorblind, it's the first one and the third one. And blue, mixing green. Please insert an empty medigel capsule for transfer. And then just click on the Meditech station again, and that will enter the empty capsule. I guess the empty cap. Blank cap repair. Panage discharging subs. Please remove the Medigel capsule from the. Thank you. Please. For help. You have inserted purple and green. Preparing nanobot diagnostic resuscitation stimulus. Compl Let's hope this works. General. S stop. You're safe. It all went so we locked down the lower levels. Easy there. Stop. Or they breached us from both. Hey. Did Rugrat make? I've seen no sign of Ellis. Steve. Agent. Listen, we got the artifact. Station. I initiated the lockdown and as Rugrat insisted she was close, so I tried to buy her as much to- Mom, it's alright. There's a chance, Rugrat, as we suspected. It was just a matter. You think- That girl. Mom. Permission. I won't let you- Just one. The whole station's on lockdown. Roger that. Affirmative. Control. Earth. Starborn. Go. I'll be fine here. I'll try. Look after. The space time is time to put things. So now we've done all we can do here. The general is, well, like I said, she's a bit bollocked up at the minute. So we'll leave her. Have a little bit of peace. Now the access lift should should be working. Click on the lift access controls, and that will put us down into the basement area, whatever the hell the crystal is. And then all kinds of weird, spooky stuff's going to start happening. Well, it's not very spooky, but it is interesting. Is it? Navigation. 
in English. Apology. B sounds like some additions. Mineral. I rug. Accessing the most recent and I'll be damned. Was it success? Data suggests organic, however, are near. They're still. How do I get this? Searching. No results. Screw it. I'll f So what you need to do here then is interact with the terminal. I just interact with the um, teleport around the terminal just to be safe and uh, yeah, better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? And then interact with the terminal again, and then that will teleport everything away. Well, uh, where the hell am I? So now we're in some weird strange place, you've got our second to last achievement and all you've got to do is just keep proceeding to the right, keep going to the right until you see a pressure pad. Just enjoy the views of space and time itself. Sound bonkers, but so just like we did at the end of Act 2, and by the way, sorry, this is actually the second to last achievement, but uh, you know what, close enough. Um, don't put cereal on the pressure pad, because that won't work. You need to actually feed the goat the cereal, and then he'll follow you again, so... And then you can put cereal on the, the pad, and... Well, you know how it all works out by now. <laughs> so... First of all, instead of me just pissing around, what you need to do, go into your inventory, you've now got the goat's head, well, the goat, so you can use the goat with a pressure pad, then Todd Bottom, or Tan Penis, Tan Ass, whatever your bloody name is, then you yourself can step on the pressure pad, and then click on the, uh, click on Starborn, and then use him to open up the pressure pad, and then this time we can finally go and untie the princess, and that will be job done. Now the final achievement will unlock um, sort of during this cutscene, but there's still a few, um, a little bit more uh, cutscenes and things to do. So, hey, if you want to stick around and watch them, be my guest. I've left them in the video. But of course, if you want, then well, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But no, um, obviously uh, use the dagger here, and that should be that. That is game finished. So just want to say a big massive thank you to uh, First to Rattle Like a Games for giving me the early access code to be able to do this guide for you guys and gals. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed and you've got all the achievements, you've enjoyed the game, you've enjoyed the walkthrough and enjoyed the commentary. You know I always like to, <laughs> I always like to try to entertain. And again, let me know in the comment section below if there was anything I could have improved on, if I could have shut up a bit more or, you know, absolutely anything. All comments are welcome. Um, but again, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope this has helped. If it has, you know, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and obviously, follow me on all my socials, and obviously on Patreon as well I'm on. Where all the links will be in the description below. But again, thanks so, so much for watching, and I shall see you guys and gals in the next one. Big love. Just you wait. Speak. Wait, is that? Oh, do you have any idea? Well, time. I step just about. Rugrat. Hey, 
cowboy. Rock. Where exactly? <laughs> I want to Princess. Are you okay? I am clever girl. This whole if it wasn't that's what we're here being with. Uh. I I think that means we did it. How exactly? I think. Weller, you were telling Lucky you ship. I really didn't, unless you count the It's not what you did here. Huh? Agent Rugrat told me everything. Even after all this, after losing everything, if it wasn't for those notes and that band, what about my? It's your script. You built the adventure. Those stories. Decade long. Because of you. This is all. Why they need to see me? It wasn't that man went on, but you were there. Ever the events that I think. So how does? Some you know what? Come here. And everyone, the... Miss, Miss, tell us a bit about the Tomba and the Princess. Alright, class, the first is time... Aww. You know what? What, me? <laughs> Imagine the repercussions, hell. Intergalactic special agent, got a good ring to it. Agent Star... Estate agent, honey. 